Hey everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Gamma 2020. I've been joined by Justin from Restoration Games. Hello, Justin. Hello. Hello, and you've brought with you something for Unmatched. Now, I think all of the stuff for Unmatched, except for maybe that Bruce Lee figure, has always been kind of a standalone edition, right? Sure. Uh, each set can be played on its own. You can mix and match sets. Bruce was a solo pack. Right. Uh, so you can work with anybody. But if we want, we can have, uh, you know, we can have some dinosaurs go up against Robin Hood or Merlin or... Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, right, yeah. right. So can you tell me a little bit about what this adds to the, the game of Unmatched? Right. So Unmatched, for people who don't know, is a co-publication between us, uh, Restoration Games, and Mondo Games. Right. Um, and so we're sort of wonder twinning this thing, uh, taking the best of both teams. Uh, one Part of that is Mondo's access to some of these amazing IPs right, through their right. licensing uh, relationships. And one of those is Jurassic Park. So we're super excited. Um, I think, uh, I don't believe it's officially been announced yet, but the street date for this set, InGen versus Raptors, uh, is April 15th. Okay. And it'll so pretty be the, soon then. Yeah, yeah. It'll be the first uh, Jurassic Park set. There's another set that we're working on that should be coming down the pipe pretty soon. Um, that's uh, Sattler and Malcolm versus the T-Rex. But this is a standalone uh, two-player set. Comes with its own board, uh, the decks, and the miniatures, obviously, for... Um, the, the yeah, these look, these look pretty great. I remember actually playing a prototype of this, and the figures were like little panda bears and <laughs> cubes, so this is much better. Yeah. <laughs> But the, it was it was really fun. I, I remember I think I they were going up against I don't know Robin Hood or something. It was a crazy mix, and I felt like oh there's no chance I'm going to win. But I found that with this game the balancing, it's been really it, good. Something that we work extremely hard on. We literally do hundreds of play tests for every tough. set, yeah. and obviously the more sets, sets that come yes. out, the more that uh, it takes. Uh, but we're obviously committed to that. Mm -hmm. um, part of the fun and uh, of it is that we, the decks are completely asymmetrical, so we right. find you know it's easier to tweak the decks because we can just make little adjustments sure. here or there. Uh, but then each deck plays completely uh, unique to that uh, character. So Can you for tell the us a raptors, little, yeah, the yeah. flavor here for these. So for the raptors, uh, obviously we wanted to represent that pack mentality, and <laughs> so the first thing we thought of uh, is to have three separate sculpts. So normally each hero right. has one sculpt, and it'll have sidekicks that are like these plastic tokens yeah. here to signify the difference between the hero and the sidekicks, because the object of the game defeat the hero. Right. In this case, the Raptors comprise three heroes, and you have to actually defeat all of them to win the game. Okay, that's quite Which a sounds twist. challenging. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, so the each, uh, interesting, every hero uh, has, or hero uh, fighter with health has its own health dial, and we have that for the three different uh, Raptors as well, and there's little silhouettes on them based on the positions of their minis. So right. we have the jumping one, the looking one, and the... So you can easily identify lurking one their there, health, yeah. yeah. And uh, basically, what's interesting though, it's, it sounds very challenging, but they are pack hunters. And so their special ability, every fighter has a special ability, is they get to add one to the value of their attack card for each other raptor that's adjacent to the person you're attacking. So they get that okay. pack bonus. Right, right. So as you defeat the raptors, they get weaker and weaker. A lot of their cards will do something similar to right. that. Uh, and then for InGen, uh, obviously we've got Muldoon. He's our hero. Right, he's hunted uh, most things that can hunt you. <laughs> and uh, he's got his InGen workers there. And uh, these, what he yeah. does, his special ability is he has these traps. And he starts with eight of them. And at the beginning of his turn, he can lay down a trap in his zone. And then at any time, like uh, him and the workers can move freely through those zones. But if an enemy fighter ever enters a space with a trap, whether it's intentional or uh, by a movement effect, they have to stop moving, they take a point of damage, and Muldoon gets to draw a card. So some of the some of the cards in this deck will help influence the movement of the dinosaurs sure. to push them into the trap type yep. of thing? Yep, he's or? got some of that, and then he's also got things where he can um, bring his workers back, because he's obviously got lots of, plenty <laughs> right. of workers for InGen, right. <laughs> not at a shortage for workers, uh, things like that. He's got things where he's got a remote detonation card where he can explode a trap and do damage to okay. adjacent Neat. fighters if they're positioned right. I'm also seeing, I don't remember arrows yeah, uh, that, in the other maps. That's one of the things we're excited about is as we move uh, a little bit further down this uh, series of unmatched games is exploring different things we can do as people become more familiar with the game. We can right. throw in some more twists. Sure. And so for this, uh, we have the board has one, these one-way uh, arrows. And so normally you can move freely between oh, connected okay, spaces. Okay, yes. The yep. one-way arrows, can you can only move the direction of the arrow, you can't move back. And what it is, is you're obviously getting trapped in the raptor paddock there. They're still considered adjacent for uh, melee, so you, if, yep. if he's here, the raptor can go up there and chomp on the, 
the worker, so don't get too close. Right. Um, but uh, it does make but it more interesting. But once you're in here, you've yes. only a couple of ways to get out. Way to There's get only out. one way. Yeah. Right exactly. through here. Oh, very cool. So is this something that's available now or coming soon, or what's the plan? April fifteenth, uh, MSRP is thirty, which is right. a little bit more than the other two pack, but it's got four miniatures like the four packs right. and the license, obviously. So understandable. Uh, but still thirty bucks. You can get a lot of uh, play out of it, and then obviously, if you've got other sets, you know. Go wild. Sure, why not, right? <laughs> Excellent. I, oh. I want to mention one more oh, thing real please. quickly. By Amazing art again by Oliver Barrett. So the art, the cards are gorgeous. Yeah, I'll, I'll reaffirm that. I think it's <laughs> one of the most striking things, I think, when Unmatched was first announced. Everyone was like, who is this artist? Because it was just stunning. There's an abstraction to it, but it's very beautiful. And, and yeah, and I'm sure that takes a, it takes a while to get all that art together, too, for these games. Yeah, yeah. it's another benefit of working with Mondo, obviously. Yeah. They do a lot of movie posters and things like yeah. that. And we've always said, like, every card's a poster and every deck's a gallery. So. Well, it looks good. And I hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed checking it out as well. Thank you, Justin, Thank you. for the information. All of you, thanks for watching.